we were talking about the your stop sign piece a little bit earlier mm -hmm. and the, the significance and the layers in that piece. I mean, maybe you can just walk us through that. Uh, that's a work that I did. Um, it's been rolling around in my head for several years. Um, and it is inspired by the, the language of Braille. Of course, it's this tactile language that allows the blind to, to read and um, recognize that, you know, growing up in the South, I grew up in New Orleans um, and uh, have traveled a bit through the South, that it's not uncommon to see a, some sort of road sign in a rural area shot full of holes. So I <clears throat> had this idea to take various street signs, but to start with a stop sign and perforate it, shoot it with bullet holes, but shoot those in a perfectly configured um, uh, braille formation that spelled the word stop. That was just the right. sign itself. Um, and uh, one of the things that I wasn't sure about was what size to make the bullets. And when I found out that this little um, tumor in my head was nine millimeters, I thought that would be a very appropriate um, it, it was a sign. It, it personalized it a little bit. Sign. Yeah, I became a bit more personally invested in the concept because it can be a little bit of a dry concept right. in one sense. That made it personal. And uh, yeah, and then I just devised a way, went out in the woods, nine millimeter and shot, shot it some up. Holes in a but sign. it turned out really well.